welcome back. Well, today we're going to continue with our one-step equations and move on to what happens when I have one-step equations with adding and subtracting, but now I have integers involved. Well, you're going to find that the steps are the exact same way. We're just dealing with some negatives. It's not going to be uh, too much more difficult, so let's just kind of dive right into this. Um, okay, if we have a problem, uh, W minus 3 equals negative 4. Now we still have the exact same goal in mind as we had in the previous lessons with equations. We want to get this w by itself. And so how can we get the w by itself? Well the only way is to get rid of that minus 3 or that negative 3. And so the um, inverse operation of subtracting 3 is simply to add 3. So I'm going to add 3 to this side. Now if I add 3 on the left hand side to keep the equation balanced, I'm going to have to add 3 over to this side as well. Um, and this is kind of where the uh, lesson with integers kind of comes into play. If you feel comfortable with integers, be very easy. Uh, well, negative 3 plus positive 3 are minus 3 and add 3. They cancel out and we're left with a W, which is what we want. Over here, if I have 4 negatives, and I add it to three positives. Well, I have one more negative than I have uh, positive, so I end up with having negative one. Um, and again, we can check our answer. However, if you are not very proficient with integers, the checking will become a little bit more challenging. But we have our w, which is negative one. And if we subtract three, we should get negative four. Well, I would like to use the LCO make this into plus negative. Negative 1 plus negative 3 is negative 4, which equals negative 4, which is correct. It means I did the right work in my equation, and I am good to go. I forgot my LCO. That's all right. I'm going to shrink that down, put that over here, and we'll take these all over. Hopefully that made some sense to you. Let's go ahead and try another one. Um, say in this case we have m minus 5 equals uh, negative 6. Let's see what happens here. Okay, uh, in this case again we're subtracting, so the opposite of subtracting is we're going to have to add. So since I'm subtracting 5, I'm going to have to add 5. Add 5 to this side. We're going to have to add to the other side just to keep the equation balanced. Um, when I subtract 5 and then I add 5, they cancel out and I'm left with m. When I have negative 6 plus positive 5, again I'm going to end up with a negative 1. And I can check my answer right over here. I can say my negative 1 minus 5 equals negative 6. I'm going to use my LCO make this into a plus negative, leave uh, change opposite. Negative 1 plus negative 5 equals negative 6, and negative 6 equals negative 6. Therefore, we have the correct answer, and we are good to go with that one as well. Let's try, try a couple with addition instead of with subtraction. So let's go ahead and do this one. Uh, what if I have y plus 8 equals 4. Well, you may be thinking to yourself, hey, there's no negative numbers. Doesn't mean we don't have an integer problem here. Let's go ahead and get into it and see what happens. If I have y plus 8, I'm going to have to get rid of the adding 8 by doing the opposite or the inverse, subtracting 8. That means I have to subtract 8 over here as well. Well, if I take 8 and I subtract 8, I'm going to end up getting 0, y plus 0 equals y. Now over here, you have 4 minus 8. That is the same thing, and I can do my LCO this way also. 4 minus 8 is the same thing as 4 plus negative 8. If I have 8 negatives and 4 positives, I have 4 more negatives and positives. Therefore, my answer would have to be negative 4. And again, I can check this out by simply plugging in my value, and I'll put in negative 4 plus 8 equals 4. 
Well, negative 4 plus positive 8, that means I have four more positives than negatives. If I was to, you know, put out my eight positive signs and my four negative signs, I'd find I have four more positives. So I have positive 4 equals positive 4. They check. Therefore, my answer is correct. Now, when I learned how to do solving equations when I was a youngster in middle school, we were taught to go out, not down. The way I've been doing this is I've been showing my work going down. Let me show you what I mean going out. You can tell me if this is uh, any easier for you or if it's more difficult. You can go back to the other way. Let's say I have n plus 5 equals uh, 2. Okay? Uh, actually, you know what? We'll make it negative 2. Why not? And so in this case, uh, the way I was taught was I would take n plus 5, and then I would subtract 5 equals negative 2 subtract 5. This is kind of how I was taught. Um, they will both get you the same answer. I sometimes prefer doing it this way, but I know that a lot of my students prefer working down as, a you know, as opposed to working outwards. Um, it's totally up to you. Again, I'm going to use my LCO, and I'm going to make this negative 2 um, LCO plus negative 5. And I end up getting, uh, well, these cancel out. 5 minus 5 cancels out. We end up with N equals negative 7. And again, I can check my work over here uh, by putting negative 7 plus 5 equals negative 2. Negative 7 plus 5 gets me negative 2, which equals negative 2, which means I have the correct answer. And there you go. There's a few examples on solving one-step equations with adding, subtracting, and integers. I hope you found this uh, helpful. You have a wonderful day. We'll see you.